Love this song and her message. Check out this list of accomplishments. Platinum selling musician, Academy Award nominated actress, international fashion model, all by the tender age of 19. And she's just getting started. Please welcome the multi-talented Haley Steinfeld. Oh, thank you. You are incredible. I just said, my gosh, how do you, how are you doing all this at 19? I was such a hot mess with no self-confidence. <laughs> oh. You're rocking everything you do when you said your family. Yes. Your mama. Thank you, yeah. And she's here. Shout out to your mama Yay, just in time for Mother's Day. Oh my goodness, yes. Right? Thanks Talk to us a little bit about <laughs> that video, Love Myself. I love the messaging. Thank you. It's empowering. Yeah. And it's it's platinum, I mean multi-platinum, 100 million views and counting. It's crazy. It's honestly been such a ride having just released that one single. It's taken me a lot further than I could have ever expected. But um, yeah, Love Myself is a, a self-empowerment anthem. And when the video um, sort of discussions came along, we thought of maybe doing some sort of social experiment. And we came up with the idea of placing this mirrored box um, in, a, in a busy area, which is downtown LA. and. Um, we kind of wanted to experiment with how people would sort of embrace themselves coming and going from work, just sort of seeing themselves in a mirror with the words love myself written across it. And it was kind of amazing. So half the people in the video are, are real people that were walking on the streets. Is that right? Yeah. Which I love. Thank Let's you. talk about how you're able to maintain that sense of integrity in such a crazy business. One of your BFFs, Taylor Swift, which we saw you in Bad Blood. Yeah. Epic video again. Amazing, yeah. My gosh, Thank how you. do you all come together as these young starlets to support one another? Well, I mean, it's crazy because rarely are we ever in the same place at the same time. And when we are, it's so nice to have someone to download everything you're going to that actually understands. Um, so it's amazing to know people and travel the world and be in different cities and know people there and, and have that sort of support everywhere you go. Did you just see each other? Because you're fresh from the Met Gala. You look yeah, beautiful. You're sixth year you. attending. Yes, crazy. Yeah. So yeah, the Met Ball um, was amazing. It was my sixth year in a row. I went with H&M. I had an amazing time. You look stunning. Thank you. Talk to us also about the movie side to all things Haley Steinfeld because we saw you young, 13 years old, right? Mm -hmm. You were in True Grit, right. all into the uh, Oscar and Golden Globe and SAG machine. I mean, you were a part of every single red carpet, thrusted into it as a teenager. Mm -hmm. What was that experience like? I mean, so incredibly surreal. And, and I, I get it so much more now than I did then, um, walking through all of those red carpets and, and all of that sort of madness. We shot that film and it came out in the same year, so it was just one complete year of non-stop chaos but I had the most incredible people from that movie surrounding me uh, and again my family was with me through all of it so it really was one of my favorite experiences yet and we see you here in Pitch Perfect 2 it's such a beautiful acapella version when you're auditioning <laughs> thank you did that help you I, I don't want to say get discovered because you always had this voice but feel confident enough to bring yourself forward as a musician also as a vocalist also yeah well music is always I've always been a fan of music it's always been a passion of mine and it's always really been part of my plan but it's always been a matter of when and how and the acting sort of took off a lot faster and, and first so the music became more of a side project over the years until Pitch Perfect came around it gave me the opportunity to sort of show people that it was something that I loved and I was serious about it so yeah since then I obviously signed my record deal and, and I've been releasing my music so. and kicking butt Joe Jonas of course yeah. he's doing a great job with you in yeah. the video for Rock Bottom Thank you. how did that collaboration come together so Joe and I were in the studio uh, working with the same writers and producers on our EPs around like the same time we would pass each other all the time in uh, coming in and out of the studio and he heard Rock Bottom and liked it enough to want to cut a verse on it and um, that version was actually sort of shelved for a while until it came time to pick my second single and that version sort of resurfaced and I'm so happy that they're on it. Sky's the limit for you. You are a delight. Haley Steinfeld, pick up her debut EP. It's called Haze. It's available now and she's back in Toronto, guys, August 30th with Megan Trainer <laughs> all about the Haze as part of the <laughs> Untouchable Tour. I don't Love know that. what that was. <laughs> I don't know what that was. But we are condiments brought to you by ketchup and mustard. I hear you like your cheeseburgers plain though. I do. What's up with that? I Haley? can't do that. I don't know. We'll we'll talk about it. Try. No? Okay. Anyway, Cap, over to you. Have the cheeseburger discussion. Discuss amongst yourselves.